I'm in the process of preparing a new video editing computer. The main unit here in the back is done. This afternoon, well for the last couple of weeks, it's been throwing errors like crazy and it's been taking multiple shots just to get a video to actually save properly. And now this afternoon I was trying to move some files around and, and that was kind of what did it for me. I was doing a drag and drop of some files and I would drag it you know you can see the preview while it's dragging it's the correct file and I would drop it and it would just turn into something else and it was just it was infuriating to say the least so this computer has reached a point where it's it's so glitchy and unreliable it's it's not usable anymore so I had this one downstairs I thought this was the machine I had used at the old location in the basement because I had one the same form factor in the basement that I used. This is like a backup if I needed to to do a, a video or whatever and the other one was busted or something. I thought this was that machine but it, I guess it's not because this one was not set up. It just had a blank copy of the system on there. I checked the configuration and it's actually a very similar vintage to the other one. It's also a 2017 and I think that one is a i5 and this one is a i7. You know what difference it makes? I don't know in my use case, but uh, I'm install this and see what happens. I've never used Monterey. I don't know where that falls in terms of like which ones are before and after that, because quite frankly, I just don't care. So that's the system that's going on to it right now, and hopefully this will work. When I was looking around in there just to check it and see if I had ever used it before, it was operating pretty smoothly. So hopefully this one works okay. If this, if I can get this up and running tonight, then I'll use this to make the videos for now. And in this one, I will, I will reinstall the system and see if that fix it. If that doesn't fix it, it's done because there's nothing I can do about it. It probably just needs a new drive because for some psychotic reason these shipped with 5400 RPM drives with like 16 gigabytes of flash storage or some stupid trash like that. It's just another one of so many psychotic, deranged, stupid design choices that Apple did over the years. Probably just needs a new drive but it's not replaceable. Well I suppose if you want to sit there and pretend it's a craft and glue it and cut tape pieces I, I don't deal with that you know, give me a wrench give me a screwdriver I fix something but I don't play with tape and glue I just don't do that so if the reinstall of the system doesn't fix it that machine is just trash which is a shame because is probably it's a simple fix if the parts were replaceable this one is only a 21, that one's a 27, I think. And the extra viewing space is nice, but I don't really need it. I can certainly edit the videos just fine on a 21. So, we'll see what's going on. This started off and it said 2 hours and 13 minutes, and in about 15 minutes it's down to only 12, so... Hopefully that's done soon, and I can install iMovies. Hopefully it works the same way as it did on the older system and maybe this will be a viable solution for now okay it's finished updating I think it went even further than Terry I think it now it's up to uh, uh, no it doesn't, oh there it is Venera 13.5.2 is what it's up to now so I just filmed the video, so we'll go ahead and put this in. And it showed up, that's good. I did put iMovies on here, so it should be here. Here it is. OK, 
Okay. Well, it certainly looks the same. Ah, oh, what a nuisance this is. It's gonna come every time it wants to do something? At least more steps. Alright, here's the video I just filmed. So this is about just shy of a half an hour of video. Which would normally take a couple of minutes to import. So it looks like it's importing, it says two minutes remaining. And the pie is filling in, so alright, so that's I'm gonna go do something else for a few minutes, then we'll come back and check it. It says import complete. So let's see what we got here. Let's see how this works. Okay, well that's that's good. That's that's one part that it would usually freeze. Everything looks a little different, but I think it's generally the same. Okay, the sound doesn't work. That's a problem. I can't edit without sounds. Oh, maybe there's just no... Okay, never mind. There is sound. Hello viewers, here is a... 30, 40 something year old bot. Okay, so all we need to do on this video is... Uh, there's two clips that we gotta combine here. 6.7 is not bad. Okay, so we'll delete that. And we're gonna do a, a cross here. It's been several minutes now. Okay. And... Fantastic. Cut the end though off. Feed that out, and that's it. That's really all the editing I ever do. Um, not sure if this is a problem or not, or related to the computer, but just a note. Usually, with this camera, the audio will end up in the yellow, and it's kind of not really doing that this time. It's it's not quiet. To Purchased me. here in New England. Sounds loud enough, so I don't think it's a problem just kind of uh, something to note. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save this now. Okay, now here's another point where it usually freezes. Or no, that's that's not true. This is where it will usually freeze. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. Next, uh, we'll just throw it onto the desktop for now. I gotta remap my uh, my uh, network drives. Save. Okay, so there is no freeze up there. Alright, let's see what happens. I don't know why that keeps flashing like that, but I'm not worried about it. I'll let that render and see if we end up with a working video or not. Okay, it's a share successful. Show. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> 
<laughs> Straight in. Seems to go all the way well, through. Let me get a question. Alright, so it worked. It saved the video. That was pretty painless. So now the next thing to do is going to be. Um, oh, I gotta upload that. I'm gonna try now, now that I know that it works. Oh, it's not ejecting. Now that I know this works, I'm gonna try something larger. I have got five gigabytes worth of video for the trip up to uh, Russ's house, and then about three hours on the way back. Unfortunately, or no, only about an hour and a half or two hours, probably an hour and a half, which is really unfortunate because there were a lot of high pressure sodium street lights I saw on the way home. Um, anyway, so this. Let's, let's see how this handles, uh, this is going to come up every stinking time. Um, why there's no right click on the apple is so stupid. Um, let's, let's see, we'll grab, uh, we'll grab all this video. And this is like four or five hours worth of video. And let's see how it handles this. I'm not going to show this on, on the video, uh, on this video. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. Um, but in short, or rather in conclusion, it seems like this computer is working properly for the moment. How long it'll work properly for, I have no idea. I don't even remember where this thing come from. So I don't know how many hours it has on it and all that nonsense. But uh, hopefully for now this will, will keep operating properly. Uh, at least for a couple weeks. I will try to reinstall the system on the older, or not the older, the, the other 27 inch unit. You know, unfortunately, this is how much film do I have left? Oh, okay, I got enough. It's not sustainable, and it really should be because it's an offline task. As far as I know it, there's no way to save the iMovies installer. Now, years ago, it used to come on a DVD, and I mean, this is going way back, like 2000s. It came on a DVD, it was called iLife. And it had iMovies, had a, a pictures program, it was called iPhotos. And it had, maybe it had Garage Band, and it might have had a cup water, like a DVD player or some program. But it was, it was nice because you had the media, you had the installer, and if you needed to reinstall the system for whatever reason, you would just reinstall the system and then you could reinstall your software. But now, the, the media is gone. You can save the, the, the system installer still, but I don't know how you would, ins you would save the iMovies install it because it, it comes into the stupid apps thing. And there's like no way to save it. So at some point, and th this is why it's not sustainable, at some point I'm going to need to reinstall the system again and the versions of iMovie that was compatible with it is no longer going to be available. That is an issue I ran into uh, when I was trying to set up that 17-inch uh, unibody MacBook Pro that capped out on Sierra, I think, or or High Sierra, it would have been. There was I, I couldn't get the iMovies for it because 
the version of iMovies that it required no longer exists on the stupid apps download thing and it's, it's at the mercy of these greedy corporations for how long the corporation decides to keep the older version up but usually it's not very long so this works for now but in a couple years it, it might not and will the hardware even last a couple years I have no idea but it looks like this is working properly so far. It's imported two clips already and it's doing so fairly quickly. I guess this has ads on it now. Uh, doesn't have... oh, 37 minutes to import. 25, 12 minute clips is not bad. So, this seems to be working pretty good. So we'll go with this computer for a couple weeks until I have a chance to look at the other one. Try the other one. If I can get it going, that's great. If not, I guess we'll just keep with this one.